Good afternoon, everyone. I'm GC Rock, and today we're discussing what is your wish list for the next update on the Division 2. I'm going to be telling you my wish list and what I want to come, and I want you to let me know in the comments what your wish list is. This has been a big conversation. We're getting close to an announcement now. We know there's content coming at the end of the year. We know sort of what that content is. We will go over that briefly, and I'm also going to discuss more about Heartland than I have before. So if you don't want spoilers for that, you might not want to watch this video. You know, we're not going to spoil it too much, but I will be discussing what Heartland is because... I need to to be able to express my wish list for the next update of the Division 2. Uh, you'll, you'll see why when we discuss it. So yeah, we will be discussing Heartland a little bit today. Um, so yeah, that's what this video is today. Please do hit like and share to support it. Make sure you comment down below what your wish list is and what you think of uh, the discussion today. Subscribe if you're new here for more Division 2 content. With this update coming out, we're going to be covering it in full. We love doing the Division content, so do check out the channel, hit subscribe, and make sure you check out our community as well. It's linked at the top of the video description. It's a great community for division agents you're definitely gonna want to come and check it out so click that before you leave today and one final thing before we push on i'm so close to 100 members now on a road to 100 members if you enjoy the channel that much and you want to support that way go and hit join on the channel homepage. but let's move on and what i want to move on to is this article here uh, i'm not going to go through all this article we've already covered this in the video but it does explain everything that is coming to the division two and what they've announced so far it's going to be link down in the video description if you want to read it but what is coming is a division 2 expansion we got division 2 new content on its way they said that's going to be the end of the year we got division heartland which is going to be a standalone game which we're going to discuss more about in a second that is going to be it said 2021 to 22 so i imagine that's going to be a 2022 title now and we got the division mobile that is coming along with a division novel which is in february and we got a division netflix film coming a netflix exclusive so all this is coming to the franchise and although right now it feels like the game is very very quiet not much to do nothing going on there's a lot coming in the next say few months I, I, we're gonna get the division 2 content update at the end of the year so before i go on to my wish list for that I just want to discuss Heartland and what that is going to be because um, Heartland was leaked and we did find out more information about what Heartland is going to be. And uh, this is a bit where I might spoil a little bit for you, but it is basically going to be survival. It's a survival based game. Uh, so if you think back to the Division 1 where they had a survival mode, they're doing a standalone survival game. And what we've seen of it, it looks really, really good. There's been some mixed impressions of the people that have tested it and the people that leaked it. But um, yeah, it, it, it is going to be a survival game and we always get mixed impressions of everything. Now, I was a huge fan of survival and originally I wanted the new content for The Division 2 to include a survival mode. The fact that we're getting a standalone survival game for The Division excites me a lot and I cannot wait until Heartland releases. But it does make me think, what is the new content on The Division 2 going to be? Because if we go back to this article, they also mention in here how there's going to be a brand new game mode, which we already know, and this mode is completely new to the franchise. So what is that mode going to be? Because I was originally thinking something like a Battle Royale mode or Battle Royale survival mode, even though they've done survival and that kind of before. They, they could work a lot different, but it's not going to be that because of Heartland. So what is it? So, so here's my wish list. Now, going back to how they announced Warlords of New York, I thought it was really huge. We found out we we're going back to New York. We found out there was going to be a new campaign, a new map. It was such a good world premiere. It got people so hyped. They had it planned from the get-go. Um, this was the strategy. They said they had years of planned content planned for the game, which is a little bit disappointed because that only took us to TU12, but I do think COVID and stuff changed a lot of that. But anyway, um, th this announcement was huge. And my, my first, uh, my first like boxes to say on the wish list is an announcement close to this. I want a new campaign. I want new missions. I would love a new map, a new state. Um, maybe even travel abroad. Imagine going to the UK or something. If we remember back to uh, the failout ending in season four or season five, I forgot season four, I think. Um, there was these, uh, is it Langley files that were found? Then there were situational reports about other countries and how they were doing. I believe the UK was actually coping with it quite well, surprisingly. Um, so I think that was kind of hinting uh, uh, going abroad maybe for the division three um which might have been what was planned originally for like this year or next um 
but they, they've had to delay it maybe. So maybe we won't see that, but it would be good to definitely get a new map, new campaign, new missions. And I think it's obvious that we're going to get new manhunt targets and they're going to stay kind of in that that sort of line with like uh, the seasons. You're going to have manhunt ta targets, leagues, maybe new global events are going to be added. I'd expect all of that as well. And that is obviously going to bring new gear as well. We'll see new gear. We'll see new gear sets, new branded gear, new weapons. All of what we've had from year two of the Division 2, I'm expecting them to kind of do again in year three of the Division 2. And if we think about it, they also did a brand new mode in year two of the Division 2 of the Summit. Now, it wasn't great people are already bored of it uh, but there's a mode coming with this as well and i think um i think that's what we should be expecting as a bare minimum maybe i am may maybe i'm expecting too much but one thing we know absolute for certain is we are going to be getting a new game mode and it's not going to be a survival game mode because we know heartland survival based <laughs> So w what is my wish list for this new game mode? It just excites me because of how much is coming. Like basically my wish list would have been for survival to be added. I'm only going to get that in a standalone game. Uh, so I'm going to have a brand new mode as well with the Division 2 update. And I, I really, I struggle with this one. I don't know what sort of mode that I want. Like in my head personally, I would love like, I'd normally say a PvP based mode. Because I do think PvP is poor and needs a lot of work on a Division 2. But I don't think that's what they go for. If they're going with Heartland, with that survival, PvE, PvP sort of mode. They don't need that. I think it's got to be a PvE based game. But I think more of the dynamics is what I'm going to say what I'm going to wish for here. I want a mode that comes to the game that will keep you playing. It, it's kind of like there's loads of games now that have an addictive mode that make you want to come back to it day after day after day. And they need to find that. They, they need to find a mode that does that. And a lot of it revolves around reward. Now, games do it with vanity items and stuff like that. The Division can do it with vanity as well. But I think it's more gear that needs to be tied behind it too. So I think with all the new gear sets and the new rewards, maybe if they brought, like we spoke about it last week, classified gear, what if we locked classified gear or something like that behind this new game mode where you had to play this mode to unlock that gear? Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what the mode would be, but I think they've really got to make it truly rewarding. The problem with the summit is, although it was, I thought it was great when it first came out, the first summit, getting to floor 100 and doing it, we did a, a, an event where we had a race to the summit. It was so much fun and I enjoyed it. But after that, there was no reason to go back in it, apart from when he added targeted loot to it, where you could select your targeted loot, which was a great idea and made it super replayable, but only for people that needed loot. There's a time on the division that comes where you don't need loot as well and, and 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 that was already there for me personally like when the gimmick mode came out um because we hammered this game so your hardcore player base never really got the feeling of how good that targeted loot system was i'd say um new players could i still go in there and grind gear when i needed it to make builds and whatnot and it was good but it, it wasn't really fun you know, it's just part of the grind. This new mode's got to be fun to play. It's got to make you want to come back every day. There's got to be good rewards to it. And it'd be good if it was like a live sort of game mode. It was getting updated with each season or, you know, every every week or two weeks, you know. Don't just have a new game mode that's... Uh, basically there like the summit and that's it Let, let's have it let's have it evolving over time let new stuff being added to it now i think it'd be good if they could include like the hunters in this new game mode i don't think the division two has gone as far with the hunters as it could have they definitely went further than division one division one we only had hunters in survival like you're watching on screen now and on in underground they brought them into the underground in the end but uh the, the hunters in the division two we had they did go far with it with the eight hunter um puzzles in each year of the game but maybe we get another eight hunters that we go and find but i'd like to see the hunters included in this new game mode as well it'd be really good to see and it'd be good it'd be a nice surprise at the time for the player base uh but do let me know what you would like in the game mode because i struggle at the minute they're, they're saying it's brand new to the series they've never done it before in the series um so i'm struggling what that game mode is but they're definitely the, the, the dynamics that i want from it and obviously, we want a third raid. I think a lot of people do. Some people will say they don't, but I certainly do. This is on my wish list. we got to have a third raid, surely. Now, the raids so far have been great content, the tough content. Um, not for everybody. So many, so small proportion of people get through the raid, which is why they might not do it. Not a lot of people actually do 
complete the raid. I think like if you lock on PlayStation, it's less than 3% of people that have the trophy for completing dark hours. So it's not for everybody, but I think they need to do it. There's a lot of people that love the raids and we need a third one. Um, I, I don't know what raid that would be. It'd be good if it went to New York, if we had a New York raid. We spoke about this a, a while ago. If it went to Riker Island with the Rikers, uh, the prison there, that'd be quite sick, trying to retake control of the prison or something. I don't know, but I, I'd love to see a new raid. I'd like it to see it as mechanical as Iron Horse, as I, I want to raid sort of like Iron Horse. Dark Hours is great and all that, but Iron Horse for me was definitely more of a raid. Um, but yeah, on top of the raid, I think they could even have two planned maybe before Division 3. I think there was four planned originally, um, so it'd be interesting to see. I, I highly expect a raid to be announced at some point. And then while we're talking about raids, I think like the content in the Division 1 that was kind of like similar to raid content was incursions. So why not, while we're at it, add some incursions to the game, potentially? Some missions that four people can play. I've seen this in my comments and I like the idea because we just spoke about how raids isn't for everybody and so a small percentage of people actually get to complete the raids. So why don't we make four player incursions that aren't as mechanical, don't require eight people. And I think that'd be a win. I think it'd be a huge win. Incursions were huge on the division one. They could be huge on the division two. Um, just do it. I, I think they've got to do some incursions. I, I, I actually didn't think about this until I saw a comment last week. And I just thought that guy or that girl had it spot on. And while you're there, what they also did on Division 1, they, they came with new legendary missions too. So we've got these legendary missions at the minute, the Free Strongholds and Manning National Zoo and... Um is there another one after Manning Nationals? Who <laughs> I forget. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd add more legendary missions to the game. Maybe more strongholds, whatever. I think that would be another good play by Massive if they did that. Now, I know people are going to be saying I'm expecting far too much, but I think people give this development team too much stick. Ubisoft as a company, rightly so at times, but Massive and how much passion and work that goes into this game and franchise, I think is great. And I think we need to appreciate what what, what they're working on though with like a big corporation like Ubisoft uh, above the, above them, you know? And the fact that we're getting a new update, one thing I know is that they're going to put passion into this and everything they've got. I take you back to this tweet here by Yannick when they did the Warlords of New York announcement. He said, we did the thing. That one goes to the entire team behind the amazing project and a fantastic community. They were delighted with how that went. They're very proud of what they did. And it was the busiest the franchise has ever been, I believe, when they released Warlords of New York. It was such a good time for the game. And in my opinion, they're, they're going to be aiming for that again and what we've discussed in today's video with uh, incursions new legendaries a new raid a new map potentially new campaign um all of this um i, I think we should be expecting and i'm certainly expecting i'm probably not going to get all of that don't get me wrong but imagine if, if they did imagine if they did do all that it'd be such a good update and they've had a long time to do it you know uh they said content would be coming at the end of the year they, they've not told us anything about it apart from that announcement that we're getting a mobile game as well again heartland they turn it into a universe we're getting a novel um it's the only thing that they mentioned, and I think that they've been working really hard on this. Now, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. There's been a lot of staff losses. They've actually recently announced the game and then cancelled the game uh, because of fan backlash. They've announced Sibylent as well. They've got Star Wars, now Massive have. They're working on Avatar. It's certainly a different environment than it was a couple of years ago, and they're a lot more busier but we know they're working on it. And I do believe that they will put everything that they can into this update. So I'm going to end the video there. That's my wish list. That, that would be the perfect update for me, everything I mentioned in this video. Let me know in the comments if you agree, if you disagree, if you disagree what, your wish list would be for the Division 2 update and, and more about the game mode, you know, because that's where I'm stumbling. I really don't know what game mode I'd want because I was dead set on um, a survival mode and we're getting that with Heartland. So. I, I really don't know, um, but I explain what dynamics I wanted, but let, let me know what you think the game mode should be. Do you have any ideas of what that mode should be? It'd be interesting to read, but we're going to end it there. Thank you for watching. Hit like and share to uh, support the video. If you have enjoyed it today, subscribe if you're new here for more content. And now we are done, come and check out that great community. It's linked at the very top of the description. Until the next video, we've got some coming over the weekend. I'll be streaming again on Sunday. I'll see you in the videos or in the stream. Stay safe, have a great weekend and peace out. Oh,